My name is Ken Johnson, and I am the Grand High Exalted Mystical Brewer of Fearless Brewing Company in Estacada, Oregon, the center of the brewing universe. Well, I tell you, uh, I'll try and shorten this story as much as possible, but when the lovely and gracious Mrs. Johnson and I got married, we decided we needed a keg for the party. So we went and bought a keg, and I couldn't believe how, how could a keg of beer cost this much? I remembered paying 35 bucks for a keg of Budweiser when I was in college, right? And uh, somebody at the party spouted off and says, you know, you can make this stuff. Yeah, right, really, you can just make beer. Yeah, I got a friend that does it. He kind of went through and told me how. And uh, so my wife was listening and thought this would be a good hobby. So she got me a brewing kit for Christmas. And that's how it all started. Uh, we incorporated in June of 2001. We uh, bought this building and closed on it December 31st of 02. Uh, first brew in this brewery then was uh, May 18th of 03. And then we opened our doors June 6th, D-Day, I thought that was appropriate. D-Day, June 6th of 03. We expected to have kind of a, a a chain of small brew pubs in smaller towns that were growing. That was our idea. And uh, as we went through the process of growing this business, it became obvious that uh, we could distribute and make pretty good money doing that. And we wouldn't have to go buy other buildings and hire more people and spread ourselves even thinner. So at the time, it uh, we changed course and it looked like uh, an interesting way to go. And as it turned out, it's it's been the absolute best thing we, we did was to start distributing instead of making other brew pubs. I guess I always wonder how I'm perceived as how I perceive myself in the market. I don't know if that if that even matters. I, I hope people enjoy my beer and I hope that they uh, feel like I'm you know contributing to the scene. It's just a, a really great environment to be in because it's there's such a camaraderie in the brewing uh, world between the brewers and we just got the, the greatest customers on the planet. I think we fill a niche in that we make some beers that some of the other fellows aren't interested in doing. I don't think anybody else is really making a traditional Scottish ale. Uh, you know, we do the Maybach in the spring, and that one's pretty traditional also. And there's, there's some other Maybachs out there, but we really try and nail those styles, and I'm obsessed that way. I want to hit the styles. The, the Scottish, obviously, because that's the one we're known for. Uh, I think um, Loki, the red ale that we're doing, uh, I think that's probably one of the better beers that we've ever made. But there was a lot of, there was probably three years worth of goofing around with that beer. Just every time we'd get an opening in the brewing schedule, we'd just knock out another Loki. Let's, let's tweak this a little bit. Um, that one I think is quintessential uh, fearless beer. Mjolnir was uh, Thor's hammer if you know your Viking mythology. Uh, that's our big Imperial IPA, and that one is really big, round, in-your-face kind of beer. So uh, I guess those three. We don't have an extensive menu, but the stuff we make is as high a quality as we can make it. We're known for our burgers, but I've always wanted to keep this place more focused on beer than on food, and our numbers show it. So you, you always know you're gonna get your fearless beer here as fresh, and uh, it's at the you know the height of its flavor, and um, anything that's that we're toying around with or you know playing with for our next big brew that we're going to introduce is you know you get to be a part of that process. The locals know that uh, there's always going to be kind of that X beer on, and they want to come down and help me figure out how to navigate through that and, and make that beer right. That's the way Loki came about. That's the way our IPA came about. I tell you what, I have never had a job or a woman, nothing in my life has ever cut into my drinking like owning a brewery. <laughs>